What's up, guys? It's me, Boy Kwis, and we are back again with another video. And before we begin, I have to say thank you guys for all the support on all the videos recently. You guys have been going absolutely insane. Obviously, it's a new game. There's new game hype. By the way, the streams have been going. New people coming through. Um, I really do appreciate it because there are a lot of new people coming through. First off, make sure you guys subscribe and like because we've got a lot of great tech and eight content coming. And two, because there are new people, I know those new people need some help. Now, here's the thing. My philosophy when it comes to teaching people games and helping people is I like to teach a man to fish rather than give a man a fish. Because you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man to fish and he gets a second god prime. So with this in mind, I want to teach you guys how to do something very important. And that is how to hit the lab in Tekken 8. And now here's the thing. I know you guys think this is scary. It's like, oh, I don't want to go to practice mode. I can't do it. Like, you know, just give me the answers. Oh, why is Tekken 8 Sherpa? Now, here's the thing. I, 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 I can't do that because here's the thing. We're in the practice mode right now. There is genuinely, and I mean genuinely, no excuse for not hitting the lab in this game because here we just went to straight practice mode right but i know what a lot of you guys love to do a lot of you demons out there you're like i just want to hit ranked i don't want to go to practice mode i just want to go to ranked and i can't go into practice mode because because i'm in ranked you know, i just keep going to ranked i keep searching i keep getting into games well here's the thing for you guys watching this video for you oh angry person that wants to get better without actually ever ever putting in the work we we you literally saw here we selected ranked we're going in through ranked. We're going to go back to a stage. We're going to pick this stage. I should have gone to Victor's stage because I love the music on there. But the music on this stage is fine as well. And everything you need is still here. All the practice mode things you need, they're all still here. So again, there is not a single excuse for not hitting the lab in this game. And here's the thing. Like, you might be thinking, okay, but like, as, I, as, I'm, in, as I'm in, you know, I'm searching for a game. And like, you know, it's communicating down there. And as you see, like, it's searching for opponent. You know, it's like I, I try to hit the lab, but but every time I do when I'm searching for a game in ranked, I, I get a match and I have to keep declining matches. Well, here's the thing. You can go to matching saying and you can turn this off. And now you're literally in the lab and ranked at the same time. And you're not you're not waiting for a match because here you are at the lab. You just lost to a character. You just got your ass beat by Devil Jin, for example. You can hit the lab. It's as easy as that. Now, here's what I want to do in this video. I want to teach you guys basically how to use the practice mode here with all the options that we have, everything that is available, because I think this practice mode is very extensive. Even I'm a bit lost when it comes to some of it. I'm going to teach you guys what I know. And also, I was actually hitting the lab in yesterday's stream. So I want to pull up that after this as well. That was quite, it was quite a long session um, just to show you guys a real world example of like literally what it looked like as I was hitting the lab what we were doing how to play against something new and one thing i will not be doing in this video is going over the replays and tips because that is a video for its own listen but the replays and tips might be the greatest fighting game feature of all time that's a separate video on its own that'll be coming within the next week or so so make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss that uh but yeah we're just going to be covering the practice mode here oh and before we begin i recommend going to display settings and turning on literally everything um, show details, show details, like I'm turning on everything because it gives you all of this information down there. You, know, you can see uh, the frame info. So you can see this box here is your damage information, how much you're doing, whether something's counter hit, clean hit, a punish or a wall combo. In the box below it is all of your frame data as well. Now you have two things. You have the offense and the defense. If you select defense, you can see here you select your opponent to do an action, right? So something like, I don't know, I'm devil gen, tell sweet you know actually this is something i actually need to do myself so say you said devil gen to hell sweep right now this is something i need to do myself because my muscle memory coming from tekken 7 to tekken 8 is kind of in a bad place uh because back in tekken 8 when i blocked stagger lows i would always punish with a delay hop kick that wasn't a delay hop kick with a delay hop kick but they do not work as punishes on all stagger lows in this game they did in tekken 7 they don't in tekken 8 um so what i need to start doing as a punish now is a crouch cancel back three that is the part i don't even think that, that was a punish there hold on let's do that again there we go that is what i need to be doing as my punish Frank also has while sending two three but i just don't think it's that good the damage isn't fantastic its range is a bit weird so like if you block certain lows from like maybe a tip range it might whiff i say might i don't know but i'm just not a fan of while sending two three i think if you're blocking a stagger low like that that is minus 23 or more Crouch cancel back three is what you need to go for. So that's something I actually need to start practicing myself. So 
you guys might help me hit in the lab today but that's that's what all the defense is about you can also set them to do a bunch of different options right so we just set them to do a uh, hell sweep set them to do a cd1 plus two as well so we have them set to do a bunch of options and you can just pick you can literally pick the frequency with that which it comes out right so if you set this like 10 5 2 so this one's at 10 it's gonna is he's gonna do it the most uh that one's at three is gonna do that and then five so you set the frequency and you also sh you can set the interval with that which they do the move through and this is something also very good you can use to practice throw breaking as well you can send them to a bunch of throws and just practice breaking the throws and what i find this is really good for is learning how to deal with like certain setups for example if you know the input to it you can actually set the set the recording to do i don't know say doing something like this you don't you don't know what you're doing right you, you don't know you don't you said that that's not a real setup by the way it's just it's just an example um but you you try and find out where's your option okay so one one I can't sidestep here. I can't sidestep here. I can interrupt. Or he does the down for one, two. Second, it's high, I can duck. So, literally, it's just a way to find out your options. Very simple, very effective. But then, also, one thing I like so, if we switch to the offense side now, which is the standard side, this also helps you learn stuff about your own character, right? So, if I set, for example, you have your opponent actually, you have them to stand, stand block, stand and approach, crouch, crouch block crouch and follow block everything random block jump mimic which is when literally they push every button you push they copy or oh, he's set to mimic and standing they copy whichever button you push but the default is standing and one thing you can you can actually learn which moves are what is natural and what isn't in Tekken by setting standing and then block all so it helps you learn what is a full combo and what is not for example if I do something like this I mean okay this is Wow, that's that's a good that's that's what must all be guaranteed right but i know you set to standing and then block all you will see that the last hit is not guaranteed right and can help you learn what is confirmed on counter hit and what is not and one thing i really like is also actually after hit and block you also have you know they can sidestep right sidestep left sidewalk so for example so say um they get hit or blocked so here's an example horang is a character people find it very very difficult to play against like i don't know what to do so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to set a situation where I'm plus five. I'm going to go into a generic follow up. And you might do. You can see a lot of options can be beat by sidewalking, right? Movement's very important to deal with the character. So this is this helps you learn what your own character can struggle with as well and learn how to, to play around it. So for example, I see, OK, if they just sidewalk, you know, they're going to be OK. What if I uh, go plus four? wave dash realign and then do something right obviously that can create the the mix-up situation as well because like okay you know they're not using their plus frames they're wave dashing to realign maybe i can challenge so it, it helps you understand the mind game in certain situations as well and then going on you can also set the ground technique for your opponent so for example when you knock them down you can get them to quickly tech roll either side do a uh, quick tap forward which does a quick recovery you can get them to back roll as well so it lets you see for example i see people post combos all the time and like resets oh my gosh this resets insane that can literally be avoided if they pick one of those ground techniques so that's important to know as well you can consider whether everything you do is counted or not you know without having to key charge every time to set the counter hit state you can just say it here turn on on off your rage your opponent's rage and obviously heat as well whether they escape throws or not and so on and so forth but here's something that's actually new uh in Tekken 8 is you can actually set them uh to do a standing punish and set you know a bunch of different things and it helps you actually with your punishment so for example we're gonna set a uh, homing attack right so set action after hit or block the punishment yes so I'm gonna make devil Jin block and then he attack he retaliates with a homing attack right and this is something that can actually help you practice your punishment because it creates a real life situation where i'm like okay i do i do something then they retaliate but that's minus 12 so i'm gonna punish i know my 12 frame punish so this is something that's actually quite a pretty new for Tekken. i've not explored it much myself um but it's definitely something i'm going to be using to help me play against the new characters victorina azucena and jun because i'm still struggling against those characters so i definitely gotta hit the lab so yeah i think that's everything i have to run down uh on this little lab session right here if you have any questions about anything i said or if you think i missed out anything in here please ask in the comment section i will get back to you guys because again we're all learning we're all new we're all trying to get better 
and now i'm going to show you guys a real world example of me hitting the lab and me trying to find my options to deal with something and deal with a few things about other characters so i hope you guys enjoy all right i need to see if i can parry a few things like i i know you can't parry the um you can't bury the big punches anymore. All right, that can still be parried. I forget if this is minus. Okay, that's 17, so it can be launched anyway. The only problem with this is when they get into heat. Cause uh swig to all thanks for those, appreciate it. Yeah, so there's added armor on the thing. If you want to beat it with power crash, you have to power crash it early. And because you can do it off the big jump, was it up for one plus two? Oh, you can parry this still. Okay. So that's weird because there are guard breaks that you can't parry. Like a lot of guard breaks were not parryable in this game, but this one is. I didn't even I didn't even try because I didn't know. Uh, so thanks to follow. Appreciate it. Okay. This is why we love Chow. Do you think they made the change universally, Chow? Because Jin, you couldn't parry, you couldn't parry guard breaks before, but I haven't tried. Um, I'll test with Jack because that's the one that gives me the most issues. You know, those moves look so similar. All right, let's find out. Yeah. Did they make the change? This is the guard break, right? Yeah. You could not do this in the beta. You can duck also, but yeah, that's not... I knew that, but... This was not in the beta. You could not parry guard breaks. You could not parry guard breaks. No, with another gifted sub. Oh my goodness. Did they listen to me when I said, let me parry guard breaks? Is that why Michael Murray just liked my tweet? If I can do this one as well, I'll be a happy bunny. Just test it. It's the guard break. Okay. Never mind. This game sucks. Because my main issue with this is Devil Gym players are going to use it on Wake Up on Oki. And if you can react in time, you can wake up and parry, right? You can get up and parry. Like, it's not an issue if they just throw it out in neutral, right? Like, it's not a problem. Actually, is it? Okay, that tracking to the right side is ridiculous. Oh, this is from the rains they're going to be doing it. Okay, this tracking is... I guess I'm not timing my movement. Okay, so I guess it's... I guess it counts from guard break to guard break. I'm annoyed the high guard breaks I can seem to parry, but this mid one, I cannot. So that's something. Let me check Paul as well, back to one. Um, but let me check Paul's guard break before I forget. All right. Okay, cannot. Now, from what I'm seeing, the trend seems to be you can parry the mid guard, you can parry the high guard breaks, but not the mid guard breaks, which seems ridiculous. Uh, Project Alaga, thanks to follow. Uh, Sweet Boy, thanks to follow. Seems like a ridiculous balancing choice. Because if it's just charge moves, then it's like, okay, I understand a bit more. 
Uh, Sakurai thinks I'd appreciate it. Okay, maybe it's just a charge move thing, because this isn't a guard break as far as I'm aware. Uh, enter Heat, Kazuya. Yeah, not a guard break. So me. Well, no, try that. I know you can't parry the bad charge moves because I saw a clip. I saw a clip on Twitter. I know you can't parry the bad charge moves. So this is just looks like a generic change across the board. This looks like a generic change across the board. I remember Feng Gaming, guys. Guys, you remember Feng Gaming? Oh, you, some of you guys might be too new for Feng Gaming. Yeah, you're not going to have to parry that, are you? They speed that up. Yeah, I can't parry it. And again, it's got that spark. It's got that spark, guy. Wow, wow, wow. Just discovered something new, I did. Rage Art, these are the mechanics they want you using in this game. And again, I don't know if I'm a fan of forcing this type of thing on you. Like, one thing I like about Tekken is, like, the freedom of choice. Like, I see this coming. I can parry. I can sidewalk. I can block. Well, I can't block. Um, I, I could power crush. I could. I, I had the options, right? But now they want you to heat burst. Or do they? Do, do they want you to heat burst? What do they want you to do? You can't power crush this. Wait, what? Everything I said was a lie. What is this move? Like, surely it's high, right? It's not. What is this? Is this because he's in heat? Surely this is because he's in heat, right? This is this is because he's in heat, right? Okay, you can... When he's not in heat, it's a lot slower. But you cannot power crush it. You cannot power crush it. You can't... You can't parry it. You can't heat burst it. You the, uh, you must be able to rage out it. You must be able to rage out it. You must be able to rage out it. I don't know why I haven't tested that. Of course you can. But oh my goodness. I mean, you're, you got, you got to interrupt. But when he's in heat, it's so fast. It's so fast. No, nice time with another gift to sub. I appreciate that. It's so fast. What is this? Oh my goodness. How's it going, Jay, by the way? You can't power crush? You can't heat burst? That means you can't, can you heat smash? I mean, he smashes don't have armor. Um, your only options are to get aggressive. Your only options here are to just get aggressive. <laughs> you can't power crush. You can't heat buzz, heat smash. You just got to get aggressive, bro. Yeah, that's an option. Count and hit throw. But even still, they could break it if they're fast enough. Sidestep. You're not going anywhere. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we found. Oh, my. Is it side? Okay, wow. Okay, guys. Okay, his tracking is terrible. His tracking is terrible. His tracking is terrible, guys. His tracking is awful. His tracking is god awful. It's god awful, guys. It's god. It's god awful. It's god awful. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's god. It's god awful. It is god awful. <sighs> oh. Can you sidestep on hit? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. On hit. On hit. On hit, you actually have to hold it. You cannot do anything. You just have to block it. If it hits, block it. 
Oh god. The non-heat version tracks, but the non-heat version is a lot slower. So it's up to you to understand that he's in heat. When he's in heat, it's gonna be faster. That's up to you. Actually, no, the tracking's still bad. Like really bad. Yeah. That move is unbearable. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys. I feel like I feel I feel I feel like we learned something here today. So, in conclusion, if you see this spark, you cannot parry. You cannot parry. You can power crush sometimes. Depends on depends on the move. Like, could you power crush pull back to back to one? Um, I don't think we tried power crushing pulls back to one. Yeah, so you can uh, uh, power crush regular moves that have that spark, right? Um, high guard, so guard breaks can be parried. Guard breaks can be parried, but charge moves cannot be parried. So if they're charging up an attack, it cannot be parried. Your best bet is to try and power crush it, try and move around it. Devil Jin seems to be, the tracking seems to be pretty good. Seems to be pretty good. Oh my goodness, we're, we're learning. You can power crush Devil Jin. Yeah, right. Um, golly gee. That's, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. <laughs>